Hello, everyone, Rand here, and let's create some light. Hello, everyone, Rand here. Today, we're going to be working on installing these aux beam headlights in my dad's truck here. Uh, again, for those who are wondering, my truck, a 1988 Ford Ranger, uses the older style halogen, has the, uh, the glass bulb, so I can't uh, put headlights like this in my truck. So we're gonna be putting these in my dad's truck. Now, Oxbeam contacted me and sent these to me for free to review. So this is a uh, sponsored video here. And uh, so far, my dad does actually have LED headlights in this truck, by the way. If you remember, oh, maybe a year or two ago, uh, we put LED headlights in here. And so far, my dad's been fairly happy with them. The uh, low beam performance, he says, is excellent. However, the high beam is not so much. In fact, the high beam, he says, is pretty much the same as the uh, low beam. So, you know, he says, you know, like, if you were to rate this, the low beam is, like, perfect. You know, A+. plus. It's great. Nothing wrong with it. The high beam gets, like, pretty much uh, almost a fail, I guess, because it, it just doesn't do much. So we're hoping the aux beam here, let's see how, how these bulbs work. Okay, so if you're interested in these headlights, link will be down in the description below. So uh, make sure you check that out if you're interested. Now, let's get on to the uh, exciting part here. Let's uh, see once what's in here. The aux beam LED light bulb lighting system. Okay, we got a box. No box. Mm. Okay, looks like instructions. Some other paperwork that looks uh, dreadfully exciting. Ooh, and uh, there's the exciting part. Wow, don't those just look shiny? Wow. Oh, look at that, there's actually a fan. Huh, I never noticed that before. There's actually a fan actually on the bottom side there. Interesting. Really small fan. I'm kind of curious to how long that would actually uh, last. Uh, I, I know just from uh, computer stuff that those little tiny fans, eh, they, uh, they don't usually last very long. And then we got accessories. I believe these are the uh, power supplies for, yes, little power supplies there for these lights. Uh, this end connects into the uh, truck there. And this is the end that goes into the uh, light. So we got two of those. So let's, uh, let's get started installing these here. Okay, and the truck we're gonna be installing this in is a 2003 Ford Ranger, which takes the 9007 series headlights here. And in order to remove these, we got a uh, metal bracket we pull up here. So that pulls up. And then we got one here as well. This one tends to be a little more difficult. There we go. And then the headlight assembly should come out the front here. Might have to uh, get two hands on this to uh, work this out here. Okay, well now that we got the uh, headlight out, we're actually going to take the bulb out here, which is relatively simple. Just turn that, bulb comes out, or we got it uh, disconnected. Now with this, we need to get this piece back off here, this plastic retaining ring. Uh, and with these uh, particular bulbs here, again, these are LED bulbs. They have a set screw or a screw in here. That holds that on. I'll pull that off. And there's, uh, for those who are wondering, there's what the old bulb looks like. And here's the, uh, the new bulb. So for this, we're gonna take that off of here. And this will set down in here like so somewhere, rotate it till it fits. I believe it only fits one direction that I know of. Uh, it's gotta fit a direction, there it is, right there. And we can take this retaining ring and spring. There's a kind of like a spring clip in there. Set that on there, tighten it down. And then our bulb should sit back in here. Turn it till it locks. Okay, and then double check here. This bulb should be a perpendicular up and down with a set of bulbs on one side and a set of bulbs on the other side per the directions, if I understand them correctly. And now that we have the bulb installed, let me see if I can get you a better look. So you can see how the bulb is installed there. Like I said, a perpendicular up and down uh, with the bulbs on either side. So you got bulbs there and then bulbs on this side. You don't want the bulbs up top and underneath. 
At least if I understand the directions correctly. We'll find out if I'm right or not. Uh, next, we need to install the LED driver here. And uh, for this, I actually got this side installed already. Spent a few minutes here trying to figure out where and how to install this. And this is what we finally uh, came up with here. Got it zip tied. Uh, there's zip tie loops in here. So you can put a zip tie around there. And we got it zip tied back behind this uh, panel here. I don't know if I can show you really well. Yeah, hopefully you can see it down right in there. Got it zip tied there. The wire's hanging right in there through the uh, hole where the wire needs to be. And then, of course, we got the uh, connection for the truck down in there and connected already. So that's the uh, connection, that side that goes to the truck. This is the side that goes to the light. So all we need to do is connect this in. And then the fun part of getting this back in here, that's, that's probably the worst part of the job, is getting all these uh, lined back up so they sit back in there. And, uh, yeah, once you get it back in there, not too bad. And time. It took like uh, three and a half minutes there, according to the camera, to uh, get that ball back in or the, the headlight assembly back in. Like I said, that's like the hardest part of the uh, job right there. Getting, uh, you got one down there that needs to line up. There's one up here that needs to line up. And then there's a one, you probably can't see the one that's down under there that needs to line up as well. A bit of a difficulty to get all three of them there to line up and in the right spot all at the same time, pretty much. Okay, so let's, uh, let's give these a try here a minute. Okay, but right away here, I can uh, tell a difference. Now, mind you, I don't have nothing uh, right here for the light to shine on, but I'm noticing already that this light has a much more focused, and it's on low beam at the moment, a uh, much more focused beam on it there, whereas this one seems to be more like a, like a flood type light, which uh, I'll, uh, I'll show a preview there of both these lights and the other one at the same time here. But uh, yeah, you can see this one looks like it's a little more of a flood, whereas this one is definitely a little more of a focused beam here. And unfortunately, I'm kind of testing these at the wrong time of the year here. At least where I live now, it's pretty much light when we get up and light when we go to bed yet. So I'm going to have to uh, wait till it's dark out. Uh, this is still the original or uh, AIN LED headlight in here yet. Still need to change that one. This is the uh, the new one here on this side. So we'll probably, uh, yeah, I think we'll probably do that one here in a minute. And uh, see what's how they look here. Okay, everyone, we're going to do the other side here as well. So pretty much the same thing on the other side. And there we go, both headlights are installed. Took about, uh, for those of you wondering, six minutes to do that side. Again, the worst part of the job, if you ask me, is getting these to uh, line back up properly. Just my opinion. The actual installing of the headlight doesn't go too bad. Although, uh, this headlight on this side, uh, whatever holds it uh, from rotating must be broken because this one just uh, rotates around. So hopefully I got it rotated right, made sure the uh, lights are on this side and that side up and down. Again, so let's uh, let's turn them both on here. And lights. Okay, everyone, I know it's uh, bright in here, but uh, can you folks see the difference already? I'll try to like splice in a clip here, the other one here as well, so you can just see the difference, but I can already see that it is a lot brighter. Again, these, these headlights seem to be a lot more focused than the other ones do. I'm not gonna say they're brighter yet, everyone, but they just seem like they're more focused. And then let's go to high. So then it changes to a little more of a flood. So again, there's high beam. This is low beam. Okay, and with that, everyone, we're gonna have to wait for it to get dark out. Unfortunately, yeah, we're that time of year where it doesn't get uh, dark for a while, so. We got to several hours yet before I can like really kind of sort of try these. And uh, like I said, uh, even when we get up in the morning, it's already light out. 
So, you know, like five o'clock in the morning, it's already light. And we, uh, when we're going to bed, it's dark. So I'm gonna have to stay up a little bit later here so I can uh, get some uh, video of these headlights. Uh, I already shot a video with the headlights that were in there, the bulbs. Uh, again, like I said, uh, these bulbs, my dad liked these. The low beam performance is great. Like I said, it, it's gonna be hard to beat the low beam performance on these. We'll find out. I'm not gonna say these can't. I'm not gonna say these will. But uh, yeah, I think it's gonna be hard to beat the low beam performance. The high beam performance from these was pretty much uh, non-existent, I would say. You really couldn't tell the difference between high and low of these. So we're hoping the high beam from these will be much, much better. So again, like I said, everyone, we're gonna cut to in a out, which uh, for you will just be a couple seconds here. For me, I'm gonna have to wait a few hours before it, uh, before it gets dark out and can actually see, you know, how good are these headlights? Okay, everyone, so here's the uh, current headlights. And this is the uh, low beam setting here. And there's high beam. So as you can tell, there's really not much difference between high and low. And we'll have to see what the uh, new headlights look like here. And outside the truck here, just with the, again, the old headlights here, hopefully you can uh, see what those look like. So we're gonna switch around to the new headlights here and see what's what those look like. Okay, everyone, here we go. Now we have the aux beam headlights installed here. This is just a low beam. And then if we switch to high beam, Seems like the uh, low beam, uh, maybe just because it's uh, pointing down further. But yeah, there's the uh, low beam. That seems to be actually really good. That really shines out nicely. And then, uh, like I said, there's the high beam. Maybe just because uh, where we're looking here, it looks like that's uh, eh, probably actually is shining out further, just it's shining up higher. And then outside the uh, truck here, again, these are the uh, low beam headlights. Yeah, those actually seem like they're uh, pretty good. I would say, just uh, looking at it here, that is definitely actually better than the uh, ones that were in there. And then if we switch to the high beam, high beam is definitely spread out more. Or as you can see, low beam is kind of centered here and the high beam definitely winds it out. Definitely looks like a, lot, a wider spread there on the high beams. Well, everyone, I noticed uh, driving in the shop here, these uh, headlights might need to be uh, calibrated slightly. It looked like one was quite a bit uh, lower than the other one. But overall, I would say they, they definitely seem to like they project out a lot better than the other ones did. Where the other ones, I think I mentioned this already, they seem like a little more of a flood type light. These seem to be a little more spot oriented. And like I said, it looks like we need to maybe calibrate them a little bit. But I'll see what maybe my dad can get some uh, footage of him driving down the road here. Again, like I said, everyone, we're in the, kind of the wrong time of the year here. So I'm not sure how well we're gonna be able to uh, do with that, but uh, at least for now, I'm pretty impressed. They seem like they're working pretty good. And I don't know if you folks can hear it, but you can actually hear the fans running that, that were outside the truck here with the truck off. I don't, we will be quiet here a minute, see if you can hear that or not. Like I said, I don't know if you'll be able to hear it, but I, I can definitely hear it. Okay, everyone, and the uh, verdict is in here. It's been a couple days, and my dad's been uh, driving the truck here. Uh, unfortunately, like I said earlier in the video, it's kind of the wrong time of year for us to be uh, testing out headlights, as it is light in the morning when we uh, get up, and that's early in the morning, by the way. Well, early by my standards, anyway, if you ask me, 5 o'clock. So, like I said, it is light in the morning already somewhat. Not the greatest time of year to be testing these, but my dad says he really likes the low beams on these new headlights here. And he says those are really good, so much better than the ones that were in there. And again, the ones that were in there were LED. High beam performance, however, leaves a lot to be desired yet. Uh, kind of the same as the LEDs that were in there. Uh, they just weren't that great on the high beam. These don't seem to be that great on the high beam either. I'm not entirely sure why. If maybe, maybe it's got something to do with the uh, light style in the truck here, I'm not sure. Maybe it's just uh, the way these lights are. And by lights, I mean the the, you know, the headlight assembly. I, I'm not sure on that. Uh, if anyone's got any ideas, you know, throw it down in the comments. Maybe there's something we can uh, do to improve that. You know, at this point we have had three different uh, lights in here. Uh, I think three different styles of LEDs. And of course the, the original, I'm not sure what type of lights the originals were, 
But uh, yeah, the high beams have all been quite anemic on uh, this uh, truck here. So yeah, I'm not sure at this point if I'd blame the uh, the new LEDs for that or just, uh, like I said, maybe just the way the headlight assembly is on this truck. But uh, yeah, like I said, my dad really, really likes the uh, low beam performance. These are much better. Uh, a more of a focused beam on uh, these LEDs, whereas the other ones I would say more of kind of a, like a spread flood type. These definitely are uh, like a projection type. And uh, my dad says he really likes these. So uh, well, I had said before my dad liked uh, those, he would rate those an A+. I think that probably drops down now like maybe a C, and these are now like A-plus standards. So anyway, everyone, you want to check these lights out, link is down in the uh, description below. And as always, thanks for watching, and until next time.